In this video, we're going to take a look at the composition of functions. Composition of functions is something like this that we have up here, where we say that f is composed with g. It can be written like this with a little circle in between, or another way to write it and say it would be f of g of x. So what we can do is, if we have some de defined functions for f and g, we can then compose put them together, get the composition to um, see what's happening. So let's see with this first one right here. We've got f composed with g of x. And here's my f of x and my g of x. So I'm going to use those two functions. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this right here to help me out because this really means this. So I'm going to first find what g of x is and then I'm going to put that in to f for the x in that one. So first of all, I want to find g of x, which is this. So I'm just going to write f of 9x plus 3. And that helps me to remember that, okay, what I'm going to be doing is replacing x in the f function with this g of x right here, which in this case is 9x plus 3. So then I'm going to take this 9x plus 3, insert it in here for x. So then I get negative 3 times 9x plus 3 squared plus 6. Okay, now we've got some simplification we can do there. First thing, we've got to take care of this squaring this piece right there. So I'm going to have negative 3 times the 9x plus 3 and we're squaring that that's going to give me um, 81x squared then the middle terms are going to be plus 27x plus 27x which will give me uh, 54x so 54x then 3 times 3 would be plus 9 then plus 6 Okay. Any more simplification I can do? Yep, I can take that negative 3 through here. So 81 times negative 3, well, let's see. That's going to be uh, 81 times negative 3 would be, um, let's see, 240, 243, negative 243. Who needs a calculator? x squared. Then negative 3 times 54, well, that would be one, negative 162 oops, x plus our negative 3 times plus 9 would be negative 27, and then plus 6. Again, I can do a little bit more simplification here. So I'm left with, I'm going to just kind of sneak it in right here, we have negative 243 x squared minus 162x and then minus 27 plus 6 would be minus 21. So there's our f of g of x. So this function right here would do what both of these do together. Let's take a look at g of f of x. So in this case what we're going to do is we're going to insert the f of x function, what that is, into the g of x function. So I'm going to start by writing it as g of, and f of x is this, so I'm going to put g of negative 3x squared plus 6, then that means I'm going to put this thing into the g function for x. So that gives me 9 times negative 3x squared plus 6, then plus 3. Okay, so all I did was replace the x right up here with this thing. Okay, then I can go ahead and simplify, distribute that 9 through there. So I have negative 27x squared, then 9 times 6 would be 54, so plus 54, and then plus 3. I got a little bit more I can combine there, so that's going to be equal to negative 27x squared, 54 plus 3 would be 57. And there we are. Okay, so that's 
G composed with F. Notice the difference. It does matter which order we take them in. So um, F composed with G was this we ended up with, and G composed with F we ended up with this. So notice there is definitely a difference. Okay, so now this one we have G of negative 2 and then that's we're taking F composed with G of negative 2. So that means I'm going to insert negative 2 into the G function for X and that's going to give me a number. So let's go ahead and do that. We have uh, 9 times negative 2 plus 3. That's my G function. I just inserted negative 2 there. So 9 times negative 2 would be negative 18 plus 3 would be negative 15. Okay, so G of negative 2 yielded me negative 15. So that means I'm going to take that negative 15, insert it into the F function, and see what I get out from there. So now I'm going to take negative 3 times negative 15 squared plus 6. So again, I found G of negative 2 to be negative 15, then I take negative 15 and I put it into the F function. So here, order of operation says we need to do that squaring first. Negative 15 squared would be 225. So we have negative 3 times 225 plus 6. Oops. Plus 6. Then negative 3 times 225. Well, that would be 675, is that right, maybe? Negative 3 times 225, oops. Six seventy-five. sure enough. Okay, I'm going to double check there, make sure I wasn't goofing anything up. So it would be negative 675, then plus 6 add those up we get negative 669 okay so notice what we did there started by finding g of negative 2 inserting negative 2 in the g finding what that was get negative 15 then we took that and put it into the f function and found what we got from there now for this last one we're taking g composed with g so that means we're going to take g of x and insert it into the g of x function. So for that one, what I'm going to have is um, g of 9x plus 3, and then that, that means I'm going to put the 9x plus 3 into the g function for the x, so then I have 9 times 9x plus 3 plus 3, Okay. Be careful that we don't lose that extra plus 3. This is taking the place of just the x back up here. Just the x is replaced by the 9x plus 3. So then I can distribute that through and simplify. So 9 times 9x would be 81x. 9 times 3 would be 27 plus 3. Again, I can simplify a little bit more to get 81x. Oops. There it is. 81x plus 30. All right, so composition of functions, a few things. First of all, function notation is very, very important here in understanding what each of these pieces mean. Remember, this means f composed with g. Another way to say it is f of g of x. So we figure out what g of x is, and sometimes it's just the function itself. And then we insert that into the other function for the x, where whatever x is that we see there. Then usually we can do some simplification to come up with our composite function. Hopefully this video is helpful. Uh, keep working hard on your math, and I know you'll do great.